Howdy all, in this video I'm sharing with you the top 10 things you need to know about the Dojo Argentino. Now if you're thinking about getting a Dojo Argentino, this is our family dog. We love her. Her name is Kona and she has brought so much joy to our family. But there is a lot to know about raising a Dojo Argentino puppy and taking care of them through adulthood. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to share with you the 10 things that you need to know from my personal experience. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to share with you the top, the number one reason, the number one thing that you need to know before getting a Dogo Argentino. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and drop me a comment after you do so I can say hello. All right, let's jump in. Now jumping right in to number 10. Dogo Argentinos are for serious dog owners only. Now, my husband and I had heard this tip when we were doing all of our research to understand if a Dogo was right for our family. And what we learned was that you really should be an experienced dog owner before getting a Dogo Argentino puppy. The reason for this is I will get into it, but they're big, they've got a lot of energy, there's a lot of things that you need to do to provide them the right structure so that they have what they need to grow up and be great pets. Now, I will also get into why they were bred, what they were bred for, which contributes a lot to this. But if you don't raise an animal in the correct way, of course, it's going to have issues. So what I always tell people is you must be a serious dog owner. They need your time, they need your attention, and the benefit of me working from home along with my husband is that we can spend a lot of time with our pups and a lot of time with our kids on our little mini farm and enjoy all the things that our neighborhood brings us. But you must be serious about it. Now, number nine, nurture versus nature. This is where it gets a little bit more hands-on. So the reason I say serious dog owners only is because you're going to want to spend a lot of time with these pups. So you're gonna to want to nurture them. You're not just going to want to leave them outside to fend for themselves. They really do need a lot of human interaction. The type of breed that this is just really jumps into your family and becomes one of you right away. There are a lot of things about our pup, Kona, that make her super special in our family, but we genuinely take her everywhere. We visit family with her. We take her to different stores like Home Depot. Um, we also will take her for a walk every single day. So there's a lot of nurturing happening here. We're constantly playing with her. When she was a puppy, we were also making sure that we were doing all the things to ensure that she wouldn't be frustrated with us if we were petting her, pulling her ears, um, kind of sticking our fingers in her ears. I would always um, trim her, her nails to make sure that they were clean and just make sure that she was comfortable with us handling her so that others would also be okay with her hand getting handled as well. So they are big, lovable creatures, um, but it's very important that you take the nurture versus nature approach with them. Now coming in number eight is that they are big. So this is the one thing that you need to know is that this is not a medium sized dog. This is a large dog. Our pup Kona, she is a hundred pounds. She is the female and she hit that hundred pound mark right around 10 months. So right when she was a puppy, I mean, she barely fit in my lap at 10 weeks old. She's a big girl. The reason for that is that they are bred from different breeds that are big, large dog breeds. They've got Boxer in them. They have Great Dane. They have Bull Terrier and a Cordova fighting dog, which is now extinct, but was also a very large breed. In addition to those, they have a couple of Mastiffs that are also bred into that to make the Dogo Argentino. And so this is why you get a larger dog. Now, these dogs, because they are so big, you have to kind of keep an eye out for issues. So the bigger the dog, the more issues that they might have when it comes to hip dysplasia, arthritis, joint pain. This is all stuff that you have to prevent and you have to really focus on to get your dogs feeling good all the time and making sure that they're taking care of themselves. Now, just because they're big dogs doesn't mean they are not energetic. I will get to this too, but the next thing that you need to know is that they were primarily bred for hunting. So this animal was bred in the 1920s and it was bred in Argentina by a doctor who wanted to create an amazing fighting dog. Now this fighting dog 
was meant to fight other dogs, but also to catch pumas and wild hogs. So primarily now they are used for hunting and you will see that a lot of Texans have Dogo Argentinos on their ranches. But for the most part, the Dogo Argentino now is a hunting dog. Some people have them as pets. Um, again, nurture versus nature, depending on what you want them for, it's very important to raise them as you would uh, want them to treat other people and the way that you want them to act is really important that you treat them in a way that's going to get them to have those skills to be able to interact with others and i will get to this too so on that note because they are really big dogs they are primarily used for hunting um, and it's really important on how you raise them they are also pretty rare to find here in texas now a lot of people are now have become aware of the breed they are more aware uh, that it is out there and they're very interested in the breed it's a very beautiful breed um, but we don't see a lot of them so you will get lots of stops um, asking is that a dogo or is that a pit bull which is our least favorite um, but they do have some of those features like the pit bull that kind of makes them a little bit confusing to people um, when they do see them for the first time now, the reason that they are great hunters is because they have lots of energy. So the number five thing that you need to know is that your Dogo Argentino needs a lot of exercise. They are not meant to just lounge around the house all day or be kept in a small condo or apartment. This is why Kona does so great on the mini farm. She loves to run around. She gets a lot of time in the backyard. We kind of pin her up back there um, whenever we have got people over. Um, otherwise, she's roaming freely. She does a little. My favorite part of her day is her perimeter check. She goes all along the lines of the property to check things out. Um, she also is a little bit of a Tasmanian devil and will do a ton of circles around the yard. She loves it. She loves playing with other dogs too. So um, when it comes to playing, she does have a lot of energy. She slows down eventually. She's gotten a little bit um, easier to slow down now that she's aged a little, but in her puppy days, she could play all day. So um, that's another video of how to raise puppies and how to make sure that you're giving them enough rest so that they can grow properly. Um, but I do attribute her exercise routine and her rest routine to the ability for her to get to her big size of 100 pounds. Um, not a lot of girls, Dogo Argentinos, get to that size. So for us, it felt really good to see that she was thriving and growing to her full potential. Now with big dogs, the number four thing that you need to know, um, like I said before, there are a lot of issues. So the number four thing that you need to know is that bloating and stomach flipping are possible. If they eat too fast and then they drink a lot of water, it could result in the stomach expanding and flipping over. This is something that is really common and happens in cattle but it also happens with a lot of dogs who have big barrel chests. So this is the Dogo Argentino. What we did for Kona was during her um, spay, the doctor also went in and did a gastropexy, which is in a way for them to kind of sew her stomach lining to the muscle on her side of her body so that it can prevent that stomach flipping if she ever drinks and eats too fast for any reason. Um, this is just for us as a preventive measure to ensure that our dog has a long, healthy lifespan and was just something that we wanted to do because like I said, she's kind of like a person now and she has really attached herself to our family. So we care a lot about her. Because we care for her so much, we knew that she was going to be our first baby of sorts and what we wanted to make sure of was that she had a lot of exposure so the number three thing that you need to know is that exposure matters um, for a doco argentino they can be an amazing companion and they can be very protective however you don't want them to be so protective that when someone else approaches you or your family they immediately snap what we want them to do is be able to assess the situation, assess dangerous situations, and know when us as owners need help. 
So when you're taking your Dogo Argentino out, it's really important that you expose them to different people, to different situations, to loud noises, to um, quiet times, to understanding uh, where you're going, to cars, to um, just any type of scene that you might need your Dogo Argentino to be aware of so that they can be in a positive, helpful situation at all times and not in a situation where they are a little bit too aggressive. Um, it is easy for big dogs like this, and especially one that's been bred with so many different, um, could be aggressive style natured breeds, for this one to also be aggressive. But it's all in how you raise them. So again, if you're serious, you give them that nurture over nature, um, you make sure that you're getting all of their energy out during the day with lots of exercise, and that you are treating them with love and respect that does help. Um, and for the second one, this really is an expansion on number three, but it is that socialization, socialization matters too. So as you are taking your dog out for walks, make sure you're socializing them with other dogs, take them to the dog park, allow them to play, allow them to see different breeds, allow them to see different animals. This is going to help them understand the world around them. And it's also going to help them to not be irritated or frustrated when they see other dogs and other behaviors, expose them to a many behaviors as possible finally in our number one spot i want you to know before you get a dogo argentino that they are like people this one is important because while they do cling at your heart and kind of wrap around you and love you so much as they get older and get more accustomed to your family um, they are like people so kona she sleeps in her kennel she sleeps right next to us she snores she is a total daddy's girl she loves to cuddle and she loves to sit on her couch and when she's not outside exercising going for a walk um she does like to come inside watch a movie with us and hang out um, she also likes being involved so she does get fomo when there are people hanging out and she is not invited to the party um, so it's really important for you to know that dogo argentinos they they become part of your family pretty quickly if you're thinking about getting one it's something to really consider uh, if you're just going to leave them outside and uh, have them watch over any type of animal or any place um, that may not be the dog for you maybe you want to look into a great pyrenees or um, other herd watching animals but this one she's a little she's a little different um, she's going to need that constant affection constant attention so it's highly recommended for people who need a companion, need a pet who's going to be protective of you and your family, but is also going to be someone who hangs out with you all the time. Um, and this is really... So that's it for... The... So that's it for the 10 things that you need to know about Dark Dogo Argentinos. Uh, if you are thinking about getting one, please drop a comment. We'd love to share with you more things to know some of our personal experiences with our dog Kona and don't forget to subscribe to our channel drop us a comment after you subscribe